right. Welcome once again to the Beatzilla PDX official news break. And uh, man, yeah, we got to talk about when the tree bears its fruit. And let's talk about it. There was a tweet that uh, was put up um, earlier today. And as you see it on the screen, it says uh, from uh, Coco, which is a uh, Coco Sheena or Sheena. Uh, it says, let's talk about the white girls at St. Hubert's in Franklin Town in Northeast Philly who want to send racist Snapchats to my god sister and the other young black girls at the school. Hmm. Since the school doesn't want to do anything, I decided to blast their faces. And as you see um, on, on one of the pictures there, that's one of the girls, proudly. Also, you'll see what they were saying, celebrating Black History Month. You see that in the middle of the screen. Now, on the bottom, the school, um, they did actually make a statement. Uh, and so I guess they, because of the pressure uh, from <laughs> from the the people out here on the streets and the grassroots on Twitter, uh, was blasting the school. So they went ahead and uh, put out a response. Um, let me see. It says, uh, and this this is the response. Um, matter of fact, let me put this on here. Okay. Let's get that on. Um, let's see. Dear parents and guardians, Franklin Town Charter High administration is aware of an extremely offensive and racially charged video that has been shared on social media today. Our administration and, and staff want to take this opportunity to forcefully condemn the content of this video and express our unified outrage over the offensive messages depicted in it. We are fully prepared to take, take the uh, highest forms of disciplinary action against any and all students involved in these types of behaviors. The Franklin Town administration is both appalled and sickened by the content uh, in, of this video. Our goal is to, con is to continue to work with our students and staff to build a community where these types of harmful behaviors will not be tolerated on any level. Our school psychologists and team of guidance counselors will be available to meet with any students or any student who may need help processing the emotions that naturally occur when these types of events, this type of behavior has uh, these uh, occur with these type of events. This type of behavior has no place in our school, our city, or our world, and should not be tolerated in any fashion. As always, we thank you for your help and your support. Sincerely, the Franklin Town Administrative Team. So that was um, the note from, or, you know, the letter to the parents, I guess. Oh, so, so let's, let's, let's take a look, um, and see what the video, what the video shows, you know, uh, let's get this on the screen. It's February! Your mom is never letting anyone in. You're nothing but a slave. <laughs> <laughs> After this, you're doing my laundry. The wife just takes this shit, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking a clown! Wow. <laughs> my mom just texted me. <laughs> Now, they're spray painting in a room, so they're in there choking to death. I mean, these aren't the brightest uh, uh, bri the brightest of the bunch here. Now, again, you're seeing what they're doing, and this, and this somehow was supposed to be funny. 
Well, it's not. It's just racist. And, you know, just look at look at how young they are. These are high school students. Going to be released out into the world very soon. And maybe within the next 10 years could be school teachers of your children or grandchildren. You know, just to put it in perspective. You know, so again, this this is a very short to the point story. Uh, because we see we still have a problem in the United States. And this is a societal indictment on on with this behavior. This is telling you that the fruit, the fruit of the tree of supremacy, it's, it's showing, it, it's ripe and ready. And they're ready out there to carry on the traditions of, of their, their forefathers. Aren't we seeing this? Look at the hate and disdain. See how natural that is. That's not a, yo, know, they just learned that yesterday. No, not at all. That shows a deep disdain and hatred for black folks. That's an anti-black sentiment at a high school level. Where, where, is their, where are their minds going for the futures of, of black people in their minds? See, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, in the next 10 years, these girls could be school teachers, nurses. How would you feel with them? And you, you feel, you know, like your child would be uh, in safety with individuals like this around? Or would you feel like, yeah, I probably would not want my children around individuals like that? But see, we, because a lot of this stuff goes unreported, we as a community, the black community, Foundation of Black Americans, we don't really ever get uh, the true nature of some of these things that go on. But this is something that because of who she was sending the video to, we actually seen it. And now this is what it is. So this is, you know, and this is not some backwards country. No, this is Philadelphia. So this is what's going on in America right now. This is absolutely a societal indictment on itself. This is what this society has produced. There's no uh, prowl boys in the room there. There's no oath keepers in the room there. But the same spirit energy and sentiment of anti-blackness is. So I just hope you guys pay attention to that, that this is a societal situation. It is not just, oh, misogyny and this and that. No, 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 no. Anti-blackness is a societal situation. And we are seeing it being carried out by this particular society. And so in the famous words of Dr. King. And a lot of white folk have demonstrated eloquently that they don't have no sense. Yeah. So again, this was just a very quick, uh, very quick story. Uh, when the tree bears its fruit. Um, because you guys got to know what's happening out here in the world. And you got to know that you're, uh, you know, for you out there in Northwest uh, or Northeast Philly, you guys might have some uh, children out there, high school age, and your, all your ball players and whatnot. Y'all be, be mindful of that. Be mindful of these type of females around there because they'll go over there and start sleeping with all of them basketball players. But they still holding and harboring this type of animosity towards black people. I hope this brings a reality to you because I know a lot of people get under the guise that, well, they couldn't be racist because they was with a black person. They were sleeping with a black. That's nothing new. Been going on since slavery and before that, to be honest. But as far as America and recent history. Yeah, you could go back in the slave plantations. That was going on, men and women. So you, you got to keep that in mind. And also, before, you know, before I go, 
just so you understand that that's not an isolated incident, there's another little clip that showed up. I got the do rag on. I got the power to say nigga. Whew. And a lot of white folk have demonstrated eloquently that they don't have no sense. So if you didn't, and let's just hear that again, if just in case if you missed it. I got the do rag on. I got the power to say nigga. Hmm. Lord. So, you know, we're going to have to start addressing this as a societal issue because that is what is taking place right here. So once again, please like and share uh, this video. And if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so right now and hit the notification bell, hit the word all. That way you'll be notified anytime this channel goes live or a video is uploaded. So with that being said, whew, just uh, stay vigilant, stay black, and stay alive, family. Black first, Shalom. <laughs>